let's see how we can connect to remote servers using visual studio code and use visual studio code's full feature set so first open your visual studio code go to extensions by clicking on this item here or press ctrl shift x and search for remote now you see these options here remote ssh remote explorer remote development now click on this remote explorer as you can see this is remote explorer version 0.4.1 now click install now it is installed after this is installed if you check here you will see this remote explorer button now you can click on this all right now you have no options here so now what you need to do is go back to the extensions after remo installing remote explorer click on this remote ssh now install this so we need both of these things remote explorer and remote ssh now that remote ssh is installed you can go back here now you will see this SSH option here. So I already had installed this earlier, so I have some previous machines. But for now, you will see this empty. So what you want to do is click on this plus icon here and enter your whole command here. That is SSH and your username at the rate, your IP address or your remote server's uh, domain name. So I'll enter the IP address here. So this is the format, SSH, username, at the rate IP address. Now hit enter and choose the first one here. Now, as you can see, host is added. Now you can click on this connect in this bottom right corner, click connect. And now choose the platform. We have Linux on my server installed, so you can choose Windows or Mac OS accordingly. So as you can see here, it is saying setting up SSH host. And now you need to enter your password here. Hit enter. And now you can see all the progress here. And if you check here, we are connected to this machine. Now let's open this up. Let's close this. Now, if I press this, as you can see, there is no open folders and you are now connected to remote. Now if you want to open folder, you can click on open folder and check the path of your uh, remote machine you it will everything will be visible here click on where and let's say inside where we want to go inside www and let's click ok now it will again ask you for password make sure you have permission to all the folders that you are trying to edit from this thing now enter your password again click on trust the authors and now you have your remote files here so you can create new folders here like this test dot let's say test and you can test is created you can go inside test create new files here and it will just work like you are on your local machine so this is how you can set up remote SSH and remote server in your Visual Studio code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.